Good evening and welcome to this evening prayer on thun sun Sunday, Friday even, the 3rd of July, wishing the week away already. We have a few moments of stillness before we begin our service. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Hear my prayer, O oh Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O Lord, make haste to answer me, my spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you have I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray of one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 139. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. O Lord, you have searched me out and know me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place, and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost part of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, even the darkness is no darkness to you. The night is as clear as day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my innermost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written. As day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How great are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. O oh, that you would slay the wicked, O God! O oh, that the bloodthirsty might depart from me! They speak against me with wicked intent. Your enemies take up your name for evil. Do I not oppose those, O Lord, who oppose you? Do I not abhor those who rise up against you? I hate them with a perfect hatred. They have become my enemies also. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Try me and examine my thoughts. See if there is any way of wickedness in me, and lead me in the way of everlasting. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. 
Search me out, O God, and know my heart. The Old Testament reading is a continuation of the book of Job, chapter 42, verses 1 to 6. Then Job answered the Lord, I know that you can do all things, and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Who is this that hides counsel without knowledge? Therefore I have uttered what I did not understand, things too wonderful for me which I did not know. Hear and I will speak, I will question you and you declare to me. I have heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eyes see you. Therefore I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ was believed in throughout the world and taken up in glory. Christ Jesus was revealed in the flesh and vindicated in the spirit. He was seen by angels and proclaimed among the nations. Believed in throughout the world, he was taken up in glory. This will be made manifest at the proper time by the blessed and only Sovereign, who alone has immortality and dwells in unapproachable light. To the King of King and Lord of Lords, be honour and eternal dominion. Amen. Christ was believed in throughout the world and taken up in glory. Our New Testament reading comes from the first letter of St. Peter, chapter 1, verses 3 to 12. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his mercy he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you who are being protected by the power of God through faith for salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, even if now for a little while you have had to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, being more precious than gold, that, though perishable, is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honour when Christ Jesus is revealed. Although you have not seen him, you love him, and even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy. For you are receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Concerning this salvation, the prophets who prophesied of the grace that was to be yours most made careful to be yours made careful search and inquiry, inquiring about the people or the time that the Spirit of Christ within them indicated. When it testified in advance to the suffering destined for Christ and the subsequent glory, it was revealed to them that they were to serve not themselves but you, in regard to the things that have now been announced to you through, uh, through those who brought you good news by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be not far from me, O my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. On the foundation stone of the heavenly city are written the names of the Apostle of the Lamb. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. On the foundation stones of the heavenly city are written the names of the apostles of the Lamb. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for today. 
We give thanks for what you have done with us and through us. We give thanks for your guidance and your presence with us. Lord, be with us this evening as we draw the day to a close. Keep us mindful of your love, that we may rest in peace and rise in the morning to give you praise. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks and give ask your blessing upon your servant, St. Thomas, friend of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, beloved Apostle, proclaimer of the good news to the East. We ask for faith. We ask for strength of faith. For though we cannot see your Son, help us to know through him we have salvation. We pray for all those who have yet to know your love, that they may come to know you and know your Son. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for those being affected by the coronavirus. We pray for those who are in self-isolation. We pray for those who are in quarantine. We pray for those who are shielding. We pray for those who are in hospital. We pray for those who have died. We pray for all who have had to have COVID tests today, that they may know the results soon. We pray for all those who are awaiting their results. And for all those who have just been told they are infected, that they may be healed soon. We pray for all who are anxious this night. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those shops and businesses which are preparing to reopen tomorrow. We pray for those who are longing to return to them. We pray for the staff as they deal with any rush. We pray for those who are anxious about reopening. We pray for those who are unable to attend those shops and businesses through shielding or through infection. Lord, keep us safe. Lord, protect those who are vulnerable. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we pray for Christians throughout the world. We pray especially for those who are being oppressed for their faith. We pray for those who are strong in faith despite oppression. We pray for those who would wish violence that their hearts be turned and they may come to know your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for all who are to enjoy the wonders of your creation this weekend, that they may do so safely and free from fear. We give thanks for all the wondrous variety and the amazing things you have made. Help us to be good and faithful stewards of your creation. Help us to treat this planet with respect. Help us to leave it in a better state. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we pray for those who are sick in mind, body and spirit. We pray particularly for those who are known to us who are in hospital. For those who are suffering from mental health issues. For those who are unable to deal with the anxiety. We pray for those who are lonely and known to you alone. We pray for those who are longing to be seen and to be heard. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In a moment of stillness, let us offer to God the thoughts and prayers of our innermost heart. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal God, who for the firming faith of our foundation of our faith allowed your holy apostle Thomas to doubt the resurrection of your son, till word and sight convinced him. Grant to us who have not seen that we may also believe, and so confess Christ as our Lord and our God, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. So let us pray with confidence as our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please do join us on Sunday at 10am where there will be a streamed Eucharist um, and then on Monday through Friday next week we will have morning and evening prayer at 9am and at 5pm as per usual. Once the PCCs have met I will do um, a short announcement about the uh, plan for when we will be reopening for public worship. But until we can see each other again, God bless, stay safe and have a very good weekend. If you're going out to enjoy yourself please do be careful and uh, stay well. God bless. Bye-bye.